Okay, now let's go into center. I want to say we come out in ace, big, ace, normal, whatever you call it. Um, first thing I suggest, um, you can come out in nickel sugar blitz. And that is to man up these guys in the middle, in the these two middle linebackers, man them up on the tight end, just like that. Man him up on the wide tight end, and man this guy up on the tight end on the right. Just like this. That's all you want to do. Um, use the strong safety and cover the other tight end. And as you see here, what's going to happen here, like I said, you still create that wall. Um, if, you, if, you, if I was over there, he, he would not have got that ball in. Let's try that one more time here. Just like this. We're going to use the strong safety. Let me put it on the strong safety. We're going to use the strong safety. So let's let's go to the wide receiver. As you can see there, the wide receivers, nothing really open. That we creates that same wall that I was talking about. One guy to the outside, one guy to the inside. Um, you can also call bump and run if you want to. Now, if we were to go to let's say let's just say a regular two man under. This is regular nickel two man under. You can contain it by dropping your defense alignment in yellow zones or deep blue zones. It depends on how fast they are throwing that tight end streak. If they're throwing a quick one. You want to put them in yellow zones, just like this. So let's say they're throwing it like within five to ten yards of the pass. You want to put them in yellow zones, and it would defend it the same way. He he dropped the ball because hold on one second because you got both tight. Let me let me show you instant replay of why that happened. Why that guy had it to the inside. You got both of your ends. You got this end and the guy covering him to the outside. So he's going to have inside position right off the bat. Um, so what you want to do is slide your line to the right if you come out in nickel. As you see there, that's not happening if he tries to throw there. We create that shell over there. Um, if they're throwing it deep, if they're letting it develop deep, put your defensive end in deep blue zones just like this. If you're in nickel, make sure you slide to the right. And just like that, it would defend it a whole lot. As you can see there, there's no one really open for the ball. Those tight end streaks are locked the hell up. Just like that. Just like that. And you're probably thinking, well, I'll just go to the outside, go to a little um, curl route, curl route or something like that. You still got your safeties. You can put your safeties on flat routes to take away these outside curl routes or out routes. So um, as you can see there, I mean, there's no safety help, but the linebackers and the defensive linemen do a great job. And you can do whatever you want to, like I said, with these safeties. You can put them in flat coverage to take away these outside curl routes or out routes. Okay, and the last option that I want to show you guys for today will be out of the ace close. Let's just come out and we'll come out and bench. And let's just come out and nickel 335 LB dogs. What you want to simply do is to put all your linebackers in yellow zones. You do that by hitting on the D-pad, right on the D-pad and up on the right stick. This puts all your linebackers in deep blue zones. Call bump and run as well don't really have to but this particular play because they're running those corner routes you want to call bump and run now, as you see here all the you're not getting any of those streaks in there as you see there it's picked off all those yellow zones it's going to be very difficult to get that ball in there and this is for and this is for ace close and panther heavy um, as you see there I mean both of these guys you know are covered deep this corner routes covered this guy gets open because he does not bump. You may need to adjust him just a little bit, but as you see there, I mean, that guy's got open. But we're looking at the streak routes, and the streak routes were locked up. So another episode done, guys. Be sure to check out my next episode coming soon.